Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. We have a viewer writing in. This is Jimmy writing in on the email. He says, hey Matt, I love your work. My name is Jimmy. I have a question for you that's been stressing me out. I'm an all-around photographer, but I primarily do portraits and weddings. Next week I have a studio session for a group of nine people. That wasn't a big problem until I saw the size of the studio we were shooting in. It's small, smaller than my studio, uh, smaller than any studio I have ever done. The gear I have is a Nikon D7200 and a backup D7100. I own a 50mm f1.8D and G lens, a 1750 Tamron, a 70-300 VR Nikon, a 35 f1.8G Nikon, and a 10mm fisheye. Being that both of my cameras are APS-C sensors, the only lens that I'm, that, uh, I'm capable of using would be the 17 to 50 Tamron, but it's outdated and will not give me the quality uh, I or my client will need. Please help me find a lens that will fit the budget, uh, fit the bill. My budget is about $550. Thanks in advance. Well, thanks for your question, Jimmy. Right off the bat, if you're thinking that the 17 to 50 is wide enough, if 17 is going to be wide enough for you and you're just worried about the quality of the Tamron, then I would step right over to a Sigma 17 to 50 F28 OS. Love that lens. Fantastic quality. I actually like it better than both the Nikon and Canon versions. Um, and you'll get it for well under that price, especially if you can pick one up used or refurbed. Fantastic lens. I'll put a link below. You can check it out. If that's not going to be wide enough, which that's my next question, what I'm wondering about, maybe 17 isn't wide enough if you're in a really small studio. I would suggest that you go to the also a Sigma, the Sigma 8 to 16 mil ultra wide. It's corrected it's not a fisheye it's a rectilinear it is um a very very nice lens and if you shoot it properly and don't put your people right at the edges so you don't want to go as wide as possible unless you absolutely have to you'll be able to use that ultra wide and in a, it'll allow you to facilitate shooting in a much smaller room just be really careful of how close even with uh, a corrected ultra wide that you put people at the corners and edges and things you kind of don't want to do that i would rather um zoom the lens out to its widest setting uh that would give me latitude to make sure i had room on the sides than shoot it at a a, a more zoomed in setting if you will that puts my people right at the edges that's what I, I would rather do. Um, but yeah, try that 8 to 16. I think that you might find that uh, solves your problem when you might be able to rent it or you could purchase it and either keep it for your, your setup or you could um, sell it and you know not lose too much money, especially if you can pick it up used. You might not lose anything. So it just depends. Those are the two that I would look at should solve your problem. Um, throw it back to you guys though. Is there something else you would recommend to Jimmy to solve his problem shooting on his Nikon D7200 in a very small studio here for a group of people? Uh, what was the people size? Nine people. So uh, what would you think? What would you think he should use? Do you agree with the suggestions I had? Uh, or would you suggest something else? Let us know what you do and why. Let's help Jimmy out. Thanks again for your question. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.